Long goes to 17 and into the wall. You could hear the wheel hop, couldn't you? That one coming. Look at it again. Yeah, right there. Look at the right rear. Talked about wheel hop. We talked. We saw it in practice. The first practice we saw it last last year in this race. We saw it in the spring race. So just listen here. You heard the engine revving, and you heard the really you heard the rear tires hopping on and off the racetrack. So look right here at the right rear tires. It comes into view. He's already going to start to spin out, but watch the rear tire. He almost has it saves, and then right here. The rear tire is going to, look at it right there, bouncing, and around it comes. So Austin Dillon. This has been an eventful qualifying. Yeah, already. And the clock once again stops with 9 minutes, 11 seconds to go. We've only had 17 cars take time. We see right Same here thing. the three. Uh, he's, he's, he's crashed before he ever gets to the corner. You saw the back come around, couldn't turn the wheel. And then, like you said earlier, the back is still hopping as he tries to get on the brakes, and eventually you just run out of real estate. Watch your right rear tire. These cars have sat, and they have no heat in them whatsoever. You see the right rear tire, it's just it's rear lockup. And, and without that heat in the tires and the rotors and the wheels, it just brakes differently. And it's surprising these guys that it has that much rear brake. It's an easy fix. It's just putting front brake to it to take this problem away. But you have no reason to think you need to put front brake to it. You don't want to put front brake to it because it hurts the way the car turns.